should definitely help keep our livestock safe.
this should definitely help keep our livestock safe. All right, guys, you guessed it. I built a livestock transportation cage for the back of the truck. I did one a long time ago out of wood and I didn't really like it. So I just went ahead and did it out of rebar. I was gonna do cattle panels, but just too expensive. So I was testing my welding skills. That's the first welding job I've done in probably two years. And the first one I did was my first one. So uh, this is my second project ever to weld. I think it came out all right. It's definitely not perfect, but it should hold the goats. So I am pretty excited about that. The fact that uh, I will be driving down late, late, late tonight at like one or two in the morning, get down there to Jared's, grab the animals, and then drive back, literally straight back. So don't worry about it. We're trying to do it early, early in the morning. That way they don't have to be out in the sun. It's gonna be a little bit warmer. And so we're gonna be driving early in the morning to get back out here. So the next time you see my video uh we will have livestock up here we're gonna start staying out here a lot more on the full-time level jared is for sure uh danielle and i will be out here more on a full-time uh basis not full-time full-time but just a little bit more and so guys hopefully you like this build it was something a little different but um I just figured, hey, I'm not gonna talk at the beginning. I'm just gonna get the work done and then knock this out, or and then I could talk about it after I knock it out. Um, I am tired. I did not expect it to take that long. Again, my second time, I'm learning. The welds aren't perfect, but I think it'll hold. It'll look good enough. I spray painted it black. I need to spray some more, but I ran out of paint. But so far, it looks pretty good. This is not as gawky as the big wooden one I did before or the cattle panels. I think this kind of fits the back of the truck. It almost looks like something you would buy. So I'm extremely pumped for that. The truck is extremely dirty because it's been nothing but a mud pit out here, but it's finally gonna be dry this week. So we should be able to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, hopefully paint the inside of the uh, barn. I think we got that figured out, do some stuff in the shop. Uh, we'll be doing stuff with livestock. You guys will get to see all of that. I am so excited. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next.